We've got a full round of Premier League fixtures on the predictor to take you through for the weekend. Get you in the mood. We'll see how we do. Let us know your comments as we mess it all up. Paul, <laughs> you start with the M23 derby. Palace the, against Brighton. The fabulous M23 derby. Um, Brighton need a result. It's important that they don't get beat. I think they are going to get beat. I'm going with Palace. Roy's got him going again. Sensational against Burnley. I'm with you. Moving on to Cardiff. West Ham, Cardiff in trouble. Bottom three. Yeah, they lost the centre half this week. Uh, West Ham just find a little bit of form. Hammers for me. Yeah, I think so. Huddersfield, Bournemouth. Well, Huddersfield managed to score a goal last week, which is absolutely amazing. But um, Eddie Howe needs to get the, to right the ship a little bit. I think Bournemouth are going to turn them over. I think they will as well. I think it's going to be a very good performance from Bournemouth. I know people criticise them after the Manchester City uh, debacle, giving them all the ball. Leicester against Fulham. This is Brendan Rodgers. An important game for him. Oh, yeah, massive game. Well, you know, a little bit unfortunate last week on his debut. Um, Fulham, they just can't seem to get, get the balance right defensively. They're very, very poor. Vardy will have a field day. I go with Leicester City. I can't believe it. I'm going along with you as well. <laughs> Let's mix it up a little bit. Newcastle. Everton. Ah, no, there might be a bit of change here. Look, love what Rafa's doing at Newcastle with limited resources. I love what your boys did against Liverpool. I thought the spirit was there, the fans. It was like the old days. It's fantastic. But I'm going to go for a draw. We always have a terrible. <laughs> we always have a terrible time at Newcastle. I could see a draw. But I think that surprise, Mersey surprise. side, I think that Mersey side performance from <laughs> Everton against Liverpool has certainly done the business. So Everton for me in that one. Moving on, as Tottenham Hotspur did in Europe in midweek, we've got the Pochettino derby now. As he goes back to Southampton, will Spurs claim an important three points? Yes. Okay. I, I, I think they will. I, I don't think the Saints can handle them. In, 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 all the Lions, Tottenham are superior. Tottenham win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I see something different. Wait. I see it. Come on. The performance against Manchester United That's was silliness. very good. I think that they I think they've got motivation to beat Tottenham, nope. of course. Okay, we'll see nope. how it plays out. Right, nope. Manchester City, Watford. <sighs> Difficult game for City, I tell you, it's not going to be easy. Watford uh, can be a dangerous side. I think City will have enough. I'm going with City. I can't argue. I'd love to see Watford take something. Unfortunately, I think City will win that. Liverpool against Burnley. Liverpool have to respond, will they? They will, yeah. Uh, Klopp's got way too much in his arsenal, though, whichever team he selects. I don't think Sean Dice can, can match anything. They'll be OK for 10 or 15, but no, they won't be able to match Liverpool. OK, I think you're right there. Liverpool will respond to uh, the draw. Chelsea against Wolves, that's a difficult well, one. Wolves, again, you know, sometimes they can be fantastic, sometimes they can be mediocre. Uh, Chelsea, tough, tough Thursday in Europe. Um, Depending on what team he selects, I think I think Sarri needs a top four. They've got to win. I say Chelsea pull it off. I think that Wolves will get at least a draw. All right. I'm not confident enough to say they'll win it, but they will get at least a draw in that one. I just see it. Now then, <laughs> your boys. Well, uh, Arsenal um, are getting United at a time when they don't want United. I mean, look, the one good thing from an Arsenal viewpoint is, is United have got a lot of injuries. But having said that, with a half a team, they're going to beat PSG. So. My problem is with the Arsenal has been all season with that back four. I'm not happy with the back four. I'm not happy with the holding midfield players. He tends to like to play Genduzzi all the time. The way United are playing with the team spirit and camaraderie, it's killing me, but I'm going to go with United. I think you're right. I think it's all about confidence and it's sky high there yep. at the moment. I didn't pick them against PSG. Of course, they left it late. There's not many I wish I had picked them. <laughs> <laughs> this is our pick, of course, for the weekend. Let us know, as always. We can't wait to go head to head, head, to head again.